play a few instruments after that uh while i was in school i used to do all these cultural competitions and all those things uh after that i started singing with uh the late music director ravindra jain uh and that's where my journey began uh after that uh, after completing my school i attended a music college in chennai and that's okay. how i uh, met ar rahman sir for the first time and that's how it all began you know me working for the films as a music producer and arranger as a singer and all those things happened uh you coming to your second your second half of the question who is my biggest inspiration i think everybody who is a good musician is an inspiration yeah. and yeah that would be that that's great that's great so uh, uh suraj uh, recently you have came up with a new song uh, baja And yes. uh, so, tell us about your collaboration with the OG Mo- Mohit Chauhan, especially considering it's within the film Amar Singh Chamkila. Tell us about the creative process and how was the feeling. So, uh, I got a call back in twenty twenty two, September, I think, yeah. around that time, for to sing a song. Yeah. And the when I reached the studio, uh, Rehman's studio in Chennai, the song was Baja. Okay. So I heard the song. I sang the other half of the song. Yeah. basically baja 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 all those parts and then a few days later i went to bombay in his studio to record the other half of the song then a month later i came back to chennai to his studio again to re- to record a part the where how the song starts baja the intro of the song but i didn't know it was the intro for baja i thought okay this was something else you wouldn't know until you hear it and you know it's yeah. all glory So that happened, and yeah, I mean, uh, so this is how Baja happened for me, and I wouldn't know that it's gonna release in my voice until the teaser released uh, last year, mm-hmm. sometime last year. I don't remember the month. Uh, again, working with uh, Rahman sir, with Intia sir, and Shah sir in the same room, you are just taken aback. I mean, like you always think, is this happening for real? Is this all real? Uh, Around that time, I met uh, Mohit Chauhan sir as well. He is a sweetheart, amazing human being, and yeah. So that's how this song happened. What are the learnings you took from them? I mean, uh, Intia sir and Shah sir, they are a school in itself, not just uh, limited to their craft, but uh, to their learnings as how they approach things. Uh, there was one word in the song and they just did a whole research on that word if that word is supposed to be in this era and all those things and the way they talk to each other and reman sir that is a sight and you know an experience to see all of that happening learnings i feel with reman sir i would say he is very he is open to experimentation there's no safety net at all he'll just do whatever feels right and then you know take a call later Yeah. It's very quick. He's very quick when it comes to anything, composing, production, recording. So you have to keep it. You know, you have to keep it up with that pace. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. my yeah. yeah. Firstly, congratulations. The movie and the songs of the movie are doing really well uh, on yeah. on every platform. So, uh, so Raj, working with A R Rahman is undoubtedly. undoubtedly a significant mind milestone for any musician could you share your experience since you know collaborating with him and the projects we have worked on together yeah so the first time i met him was in 2017 for a concert of his uh, we were performing in delhi uh, so that's the first time i met him and i i see him with some four five keyboards and you know it was all a sight felt like a dream again yeah 
and then later in 2019 is when i started working uh, as a music producer for a couple of his films started with tamil films and then dil bechara happened i worked on dil bechara as well i sang a few parts in the bagnor score as well and it became such a special film because uh, covid happened and all those things around the film happened so that was my first hindi film with him then i have worked uh, on mili mimi param sundari i sang a part in param sundari as well so that's the atrangire one of the finest uh, films i have worked on uh, had the opportunity of working on it was really special working with uh, anand uh, so so and it shot again atrangire such a phenomenal album and then i have worked on pippa maidan that just released so it's been quite a ride and you know seeing a song from its inception to its release it's a whole journey you know we start with something then we remove something we add something all of those things happen so it's it's pretty amazing that's great that's great so uh, what draws you towards you know south indian projects I, i mean and how do you navigate the differences in you know musical styles and the cultures when working on these projects yes no yeah. of course there there is a big cultural shift when you yeah. work on hindi films and then you go to the tamil and telugu so the thing is i feel that there is a side to the music of south indian films that we haven't explored being north indians or being you know uh, living in the north side of the nation i feel there is, the music there is pristine and rich because they are very much the whole uh, south of india is very much connected to their roots to the yeah. folk music that they perform and all the in the temples and they are very sound when it comes to music even now common people who are not musicians but since they have grown up to listening you know all these temple songs and all the folklores they are very uh, their ears are pretty I'm trained sure. yeah. yes so when you when you put a song in front of them that is really uh, complex in musicality you know with all these ragas and all they are all appreciated there and they are all accepted so there's this is one thing that i really like about the south indian film industry also uh, you know with every single language the nuances of music also change like tamil is a very i would say as a musician that i've seen it so far it's a very music friendly language because yeah. it mostly ends on vowels rather than consonants yeah so it works well with the melodies you can put any melody to tamil language and it does wonders so things like these i mean malayalam oh my god It, that is a whole another school. So, of, what kind of genres you can sing? I sing almost everything. Oh. I wouldn't put a name to it, but yeah, I can. I can sing ghazals. I can say Sufi. I can sing classical music. So, yeah, with all those, again, because I have worked with so many people over the years. With I have recorded so many singers. I pick, you know, uh, certain things from someone. So it all helps for me to grow as a musician as well. So in your journey, I, I'm sure you you also have faced some of the you know challenges. So what challenges do you face in the music industry so far? Uh, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say it as a challenge, but I would say I mean prerequisite for any job would be you have to be on top of your game when it comes uh, because there are a lot of musicians, there are a lot of singers. What's something unique that you can bring to the table? and in like in today's times when everything is possible almost everything is possible through a computer why would someone need you yeah exactly That's, so i mean those are the challenges if you <laughs> would like to put it that way but yeah i mean uh, there is a human touch to everything which is required everywhere and i feel that's where we are headed to finding a finding something natural yeah and that's what a singer can bring to a table ai yeah, wouldn't be able to So yeah, I mean, these are the challenges. Of course, there are a lot of times have changed. There are a lot of projects happening now, so there are more job opportunities for everyone because there is web series happening, uh, TV, all of those things happening. So it's it's I think it's a good time to be uh, in music right now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, uh, so Suryansh, uh, you know, these is marketing and promotions are you know crucial aspects of the you know musicians' career. How mm-hmm. do you approach your marketing? your your music and building your own brand so what are I the think, trends and trends you look for 
yeah i do not follow trends for to make yeah. music because then it uh, then there's no purpose to <laughs> but i do understand what you're saying and yeah. i mean like marketing is one very crucial aspect of music making these are all industries that go hand in hand now yeah. because there's so much music there are so many films there's so much releasing all at the same time and that we have become the one minute generation now so everything needs to come right in front of your eyes for it to connect relate and for you to see it or watch it or listen to it so i feel music uh, that is quite a very big aspect of releasing music marketing and promotions of course so but yeah i think radio helps uh, instagram helps instagram i think helps a lot all these social media platforms because everybody is there uh, doesn't matter if you are not yeah. so i mean it helps connecting with your fans is crucial now and it's easier to i mean you put a song out if they like it they comment yeah. it if they don't you know so you get i feel that we don't need you know any particular music labels to you know publish your song you just put a reel reel of your own song and and by luck or if the audience likes it it goes viral so that's a very good platform to be there it is i think that's how we are seeing a lot many singers and songwriters from you know parts of the world um, that wouldn't have been possible this wouldn't have been possible let's say 10 years ago or 15 years ago but with onset of youtube and instagram and all these social media platforms it's been easier for artists to you know make their voice heard yeah so i yeah. think it's it's quite a nice thing yeah but so much the music industry you know offers various revenue streams from you know live performances to streaming royalties how do you mm-hmm. diversify your revenue streams as a musician and as an entrepreneur of course agree so uh again i i also am a music producer yeah so oh. so i work for films okay. so that happens i am also a vocal arranger so i work on songs for uh, a lot many composers so that's one way of you know uh, getting the revenue in then there is live performances that you know singers can there are a lot of live performances happening every single day of course the the platforms changes the size of the performance is changes the pop, uh, the crowd changes but it's happening another thing uh, musicians do is uh, they teach yeah. which is i think it's a really nice thing to do because you're sh- sharing knowledge and once yeah. when you're sharing knowledge you also gain something from it mm-hmm. so that's there um i mean then there is instagram there is youtube when you put your single out you are earning money from it yeah. through youtube whatever the monies are that's not uh, relevant but it's coming in streaming services although the revenues coming from streaming services are a little bit too low and the industry keeps talking about it i do not have to say anything about it but yes i mean it's it's helping the artists some way or the other so it's nice yeah so what we can expect you know in the music business industry in 2024 what's your point on that i think um first things first like they did in the us i think there needs to be something done for the ai voices right they have yeah. just passed a law uh, in one of the states i'm not sure which state that is so what they did is they're like for to i think uh, i'll have to read about it but you have to seek yeah. permission or it's not allowed it's one of those things so that needs to be done a b uh, if you see what what i mean there is a lot of uh, singles coming out there are a lot of um, new artists coming in so i think 2024 is going to be a great year for music because there's going to be a lot of music coming in it's just just the start of uh, the year i think we are in april and we have seen a lot of good music coming in there is uh, crack released maidan released uh, amar singh chamkila the album is doing wonders i feel so i think we are looking forward to a great year when it comes to music definitely so can you sing two lines of your you know new song bacha from chimki absolutely i would love to hai na ishq da pehla akhar samajhna sab nu aave koi challa sajde karda koi tum bhi te gaave that was so so cool that was amazing so yeah thank you so uh, what are your future projects tell us about 
a couple of film projects coming up that uh, I cannot tell you about just now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a single coming up, uh, which is in collaboration with uh, the Ghode Pe Savar singer Sirisha. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna release tomorrow uh, on the nineteenth of April. So tell then, us about that song more. Then. Oh, nice. So um, the song is called Ishq. It's okay. basically an ode to love, more okay. or less. It's about two people when they meet for a very brief amount of time and they go their ways. But when they reminisce about this time when they met, they feel that whatever this was, this was real. It something that we haven't felt yet. I think this was love. So that's the song in a nutshell. It's an it's an alternative track with a little bit of electronic elements. It's a cool track, basically. If oh. <laughs> if you ask me, and Sirisha has done an amazing job on the vocals. I was because it was always a song that I had sung. It was always a male song, the whole song, okay. and I have had that this song for a couple of years now, and I was I was not sure what to do with this, and then one fine day I called Sirisha and she I was like, will you be able to sing? There's one humming part in the song. Yeah. Can you sing that? She was like, yeah. And I was like, wow. She comes in, she sings the humming part, and I was like, can you sing the antra as well? Can you sing the whole song? And that that's how the song happened, and I'm really happy how it has turned out, and I can't wait for you all to listen to it. Yeah. I'm sure it will be a great hit for you. But uh, you. I would like to to ask that any live performances we can look forward to. There is something in the pipeline. We are working on it in 2024. Yes, we are working on something, but I'll let it unfold itself. So, any and advice for budding artists in the industry you would like to give, and a message to your fans? Uh, advice to budding artists would be, um. Uh, make anything and everything that comes for you, from your heart do not try to follow anyone or sound like anyone just do your own thing and i think once you get a hang of it i think great things will happen this is the advice to the wedding artist which i too am <laughs> <laughs> and uh to my fans and my listeners and my uh, lovely lovely friends i would like to say Thank you for listening to my music. Uh, there is a lot more in the store, and I'm very excited about this year. Let's see how we do it. Yeah, thank you so much, Suryansh, for your time. It was our pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.